Hey, what's up YouTube? I'm David and this is the Weird Outdoors. Today we are off on another little adventure, going to be doing an overnight trip in the van and hopefully catching dinner in a lake that's just right over there. Uh, I don't think it's too far of a hike, but we'll find out for sure. If we don't catch fish, then we still got eggs and potatoes, but if we do, then uh, we're gonna bread a couple up and uh, fry them up for some fish tacos. So let's get out here and uh, see what we can catch. It's a little colder than I'd like for it today. It rained all last night. We had like 60 mile per hour winds last night. And then it rained even some today. So I'm not sure how good the fishing's gonna be, but we're gonna give her a shot. Now, it looks like on Google Maps, I can just walk around this tree line here and this clearing will take me to the first little pond. And then uh, the little lake's not far from there. Not a bad place to catch you, so. Holy. I don't know if that picked up on the camera or not, but a huge fish just jumped over there. Huge. I already have a hook and bobber on both these lines from uh, fish with my son the other day, but I need to, uh, I don't need to, but I want to I'll put a lead and a trout magnet on here. Leads, ready on the hook. I'm no expert fisherman, I just know the basics, so I'm just gonna do a real simple fisherman's knot on here. Alright, get our little trout magnet on here. Get a couple casts out. Now we're using the Walmart Big Red Worms, which they're not huge. You're expecting night crawlers, you're gonna be disappointed. But they're not good, they're good size. Uh, we've caught some trout. This is what we were catching trout and uh, pan fishing on our last video, so. I don't know if I can, like I did there. Get both ends over top of the hook there and just barely have that hook sticking out. fished other spot for a few minutes but I wouldn't get any bites over there and I saw fish jump on this side so I I scooted back around kind of close to where I first walked into and uh, I think I can cast back behind me and kind of right in like this area is where the fish were jumping so uh, I'm gonna throw my bobber over there and uh, see what we can get on the hook Cast it down a little farther. Oh, got a bite. Got a bite. Come on now, take it under. Teasing me. Whatever was touching, nibbling on it stopped. Come on now. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, popped off. Sorry. I cast it back out. Well, at least we know they're here now. All right. Still haven't had much luck over here, so we're going to head over to this way, try to get to that deeper side. I'm seeing fish jump. I've seen a few fish surface, but even had my barber down once or twice, but nothing I could get uh, get on the line. So I'm gonna walk around here a little bit. I can 
actually see the other lake I was showing you guys on the map, uh, just right over there through those trees. I don't know if I'll make it over there today, uh, just because I, I don't want to have to too far of a walk back to get in the dark, but I'm definitely going to be uh, fishing that before the year's over with. I've been seeing lots of wild onion or some here. I think we're just gonna gather up some of that and uh, take back to cook with our potatoes and eggs. Try to find a good chunk the deer haven't been eating on too much. Dig it up so we get the bulb. That's it, onions. Walk over here. Should be enough. We'll take these back and clean them off and get them cut up to add to our uh, dinner tonight. Still wish we were gonna have fish, but can't go wrong with eggs and taters. All right, well, we've been here for about three hours now. Uh, not quite, but pretty close to it. And uh, had a couple bobber downs, but I didn't get any fish on the hook, unfortunately. Uh, we did get that wild onion, and we're gonna head back to camp. Well, not really camp, we're gonna head back to my van, and we're going to uh, cook us up some eggs and potatoes, and uh, get settled in for the evening. actually a little power bank from Harbor Freight. I think it was like seven bucks. It won't get your phone to a full charge, but I think it'll have maybe about 35, 40%. So in an emergency situation, or maybe you just need to add a little juice to your phone overnight or while you're, while you're recording video. Um, it's not a bad investment. I've got our potatoes and you get our onions out of my backpack here. Alright, and I have some hot jug of water over here. Cut the roots off and probably chop it right there. We'll just toss the rest off. It's just an onion, just a weed really, so it's not gonna hurt anything tossing it off to the side. Here's our quick what, little two minute onion harvest. Just enough for tonight's dinner. I'm gonna rinse and clean them off a little better, but we'll clean them off and then we'll chop them up some more and we'll be good to go. All right, we're gonna get our uh, potatoes cut up real quick. We've got our eggs neatly packaged in here. And while we didn't uh, catch any fish today, we technically did catch clean cook these eggs because these are from our chickens from back home well they're from my chickens you guys don't have any chickens you know what i mean two beautiful brown eggs and this beautiful olive egg for one of our olive eggers can't really beat these farm fresh eggs all right let's get our uh, camp stove started i uh i love this thing i picked up from battle box's website i want to say it was like like cheap like 25 bucks but i could be wrong i honestly don't remember how much it was now uh, but one thing I like about this one versus everybody else's I've seen on YouTube is I just turn the gas on and hit the button. I don't have to worry about trying to light it or having a lighter on me, which I usually do, but I don't have to do it in this case. Then I can turn that down just a little bit. 
I usually just throw this rack on the back of my van when I'm going somewhere. It makes it easy to cook on and keeps life simple. A little oil in the pan because I'm cooking on this super unbalanced cooktop. I'm going to hold on to my skillet a little bit here. I hope I can get all my taters in there. There we go. Got our onions all cut up. Nothing fancy, but uh, it'll add some flavor to our potatoes. So. Potatoes are cooking. And uh, so we got our cheese, our eggs. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll uh, have a good dinner. <laughs> yeah, I just uh, snuck away from the wife and kids for the, the evening. I didn't know some wildlife owned us in here. Yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't, I just. I started searching their public land on Google Maps and found them. I was fishing, but I don't I don't deer hunt. But man, if you do, there's deer tracks everywhere, and they're bedding down all in this clearing right here. Fresh droppings, everything. No, nope, just came up for the evening. Yeah, a little, like I said, a little escape. Anyway, my name's Floyd. How you doing? Uh, David, man. Sorry, nice to meet you. No, Should introduce right. myself. Sorry. Right off, you oh no, I got plenty of stuff. Thank you, though. All right. Be safe. All right, I think our potatoes are pretty much done. Except for the one I just dropped. Black pepper and some sea salt. Got our cheese. I think we're, uh, I think we're good. It's not perfect. Um, I think I think I might have like burnt our wild onions a little bit, but not a bad dinner. Let me uh, turn the stove off. It doesn't look horrible. It's just cheese, eggs, potatoes, and our wild onions, and what a little bit of salt and pepper. So, cheers. Ooh. Not a bad dinner. Little sad. I didn't bring chocolate. I normally bring you like a candy bar or something because I'm a child and I want candy. But uh, I'll survive. All right, guys. I think that's it for the night. I'm going to get cleaned up, uh, put away a tripod, all that stuff. And uh, then I'll get inside and get all this stuff cleaned up. I'll probably leave my little one of my windows open those covers there i'll probably pop one of those off and leave them open use natural light while i have it and then uh yeah just gonna get kind of tucked in for the night um and uh probably watch some youtube or if i have a signal or i uh, got some movies saved on netflix i can watch so uh i will see you guys in the morning Peace. <laughs>
just make sure I have the carbon monoxide detector for backup. The Mr. Buddy heaters are supposed to shut off if they run out of oxygen in the room, but you know, it's always good to have more than one uh, fail safe. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know we didn't catch any fish, but we still had a good time out here in the woods. And uh, we'll definitely be back to this little pond soon because we were getting tons of bobber downs and I just wasn't able to get anything on the hook. So uh, we're gonna come back, check out that little pond sometime, and we're also gonna hit that bigger lake just past it. Um, I'm excited to go see it and check it out when the weather warms up a little bit. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you don't mind, do me a favor, go ahead and uh, hit that like button down below. And uh, man, give me a subscribe. I, I really appreciate it, and I appreciate you watching. So thanks. Peace.